The Ministry of Education and Sports and the Ministry of Finance began their party congresses to review the achievements of their leadership over the past five years. This was the eighth party congress held by the Ministry of Education and Sports and the second by the Ministry of Finance. Party Secretary of the Ministry of Education and Sports, Dr. Pankam Vipavan, gave the opening remarks and delivered a political report at the meeting, which took place at the National University of Laos Dongdo campus. The report revealed that the party committee's leadership had brought about positive developments, especially in reaching goals set in the education for all program and the Millennium Development Goals for Education. According to the report, in summation, education and sports have improved in quality following general trends in the region and worldwide. Civil servants and teachers had adhered to their political obligations, and investment in education and sports had increased every year. This was due to regular support from individuals, legal entities, domestic and foreign organizations, and international organizations, especially education development partners. However, the report also outlined deficiencies that the party committee members needed to address, such as training in political ideology. It pointed out that cadres and party members in the sector did not understand the party's renovation policy or the education and sports reform program. Guidance on the expansion of the education network, especially preschool education, general education, and the informal education system in remote areas was also inadequate. Prime Minister Tong Sing Tamavong represented the Politburo at the Congress. The Second Party Congress of the Ministry of Finance is also taking place at the National Convention Center. Party Secretary Dr. Lien Tikeo delivered the opening remarks yesterday and presented a political report. State revenue of more than 101 trillion kip had been collected over the past five years, or about 26% of GDP, which was 1% over the target. Expenditure amounted to 120.5 trillion kip, or 29.7% of GDP. The budget deficit was under control and was averaging 3 to 5 percent of GDP. The ministry has improved revenue policy by promoting business operations in all sectors of the economy so that more income tax is paid. Legislation has been amended and tariffs and tax rates have been improved. Among the outstanding achievements of the ministry under party leadership over the past five years was the modernization of the state budget management mechanisms. This has been achieved by improved connectivity between the national treasury, budget units at central and local levels, salary payments through ATMs, and the introduction of easy tax and smart tax. The Ministry of Finance has 15 departments and department equivalent bodies, two of which have been newly established. The ministry also has three subordinate enterprises, one institute of economics and finance, and two colleges. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Bunpon Buttanavong represented the Politburo at the Congress.